Good morning, folks. Shh. She's sleeping. She really likes her naps. Last time we accidentally woke her up, she took out the New Zealand aviation radar and the FNB digital system across South Africa. There were no big eruptions the last day, and solar flaring remains very low here on the X-ray flux. The sunspots are spread out and small. There's almost no chance for larger flares today. In the Calm as a Cucumber competition, we see Earth coming in close second to the sun. Solar wind, calm as can be, and so is Earth's magnetic field. We did take a gamma ray burst last night, but that's about it. The top eruption threat remains those thin dark plasma filaments snaking in here and facing Earth. We have that tiny Earth-facing coronal hole that barely even nudges up the quake watch. Unusual location rumbles took over the last day with two above average in Oregon. We saw them in eastern Canada, the northeast Caribbean, and in the North Atlantic. And coming round to the east, we see Pakistan and Mozambique getting in the mix as well. Unusual day. Dear NASA, I will feature Pluto for as long as you're willing to deliver unbelievable images. Here we see the mountains that NASA says must be very, very young and might prove the existence of geological activity still ongoing at Pluto. Given that Pluto is a ball of ice, discussions surrounding life potential on Pluto required only geological activity. There could literally be microbial life on Pluto right now. Typhoon. Japan. Feet of rain expected. Feet. There isn't much now to do but wait. The system out to sea is still strong as well, churning away. In the eastern Pacific, those two systems still stand, but they are moving slowly. What are the observers watching now? The publicly released Deeper Look episode, The Sun is Going to Sleep, details the heliophysics breakthrough of the decade. You can find it at spaceweathernews.com suspiciousobservers.org or you can just google the sun is going to sleep and look for that pretty colorful sun image. Website members are taking in the latest fly on the wall episode from last Saturday. Solid topics including some that go outside our normal lexicon. Last but not least as the weeks fall away in July we approach observing the frontier the first conference for the observers the people on the frontier, many of our community's favorite topics, will gather in Pittsburgh this October for the weekend of the 17th and 18th, observing the frontier. Up in the United States, we see the Gulf heat rushing up the center of the nation. Where it gets to the Midwest is where it's likely to drop tonight. Eyes on your local forecasts. In Europe, the low west of the UK is what catches my eye, and apparently, it's what catches the precipitable water as well in purple. I'll leave that overlay on as we come down under to see a low in convergence approaching the west coast there. Locals should be eyeing its progression. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe everyone.